Hi Sagittarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your reading for the second week of May. This would be May 7th through the 15th, okay? Now I'm going to get two oracle cards, one from this deck, one from this deck. If it flips out while I'm shuffling, you get to see it, otherwise we'll reveal it at the end. This is, a, uh, usually my readings are love readings, so we're going to call it a love reading and see whatever comes up. This is for the sign of Sagittarius. If you're looking for a quick mini reading, 10 bucks, and you have Apple, iPhone, you can contact me on Instagram and I will reply to you within 24 hours. Sometimes I reply to them immediately. Sometimes I'm sleeping or out on the road or who knows what. So if you're looking for you know, anything else, uh, you can contact me via the information below. What does Sagittarius need to know this second week of May? Sagittarius. to know. Somebody could be at an emotional loss, okay? Uh, there's an emotional disappointment here. Focusing on what's been lost instead of seeing that there are still opportunities. There's still other, more, uh, better suited opportunities, but focusing on the loss. Or, you know, still still hurting over a loss, okay? You need to let go, let it go, let it go. You don't need to hold on to it. This is about releasing the, an obsession, okay? Releasing it. Um, you know, so you, change is scary, you know, when you have to change from what you've always known. And I feel like for many of you, there's been a period of time where you have been going through difficulty, but it's always in your hands to accept it and let it go. Accept the feelings, accept the hurt, feel it and release it. Okay, you have to release it. Because you can't, it's out of your control. All right. And the thing is, is right now things are out of control. You may be angry. And if anger is controlling your life, then it's not doing anything positive for you. Okay, it's not. Anger doesn't bring you anything good. It doesn't. It, it add stress to your life it you know and stress kills you know it's just a a downward spiral when you hold on to anger so somebody is holding on to anger and resentment um which is causing their life to be a little bit chaotic it's caused them to lose their focus and their concentration all you have to do is let it go let go of the anger you can do it you can do it Five of Wands reversed. You know, you will feel an instant relief when you no longer fight what is it meant to be. Trust. Trust that things happen for a reason. Okay? Everything has a purpose. And I know that, you know, sometimes you may have a hard time believing that, but it's the truth. Okay? I feel like you really, really need to be patient at this time. Be patient with yourself. Be patient with your feelings. It takes time to heal over a difficult period of life if it's been years that you've been suffering. Okay? You guys are about to embark or you have embarked on a new spiritual journey. Many of you have already started this. You're, you're headed in the right direction very, very quickly. I know because I've been doing these readings. 
but for some of you, you're still at the very beginning. You have a new beginning here right in front of you, which is going to allow you to start over, but you're going to, on a new spiritual journey, but you're going to have to take a leap of faith. You're going to have to take a risk. There you are. Now you're going to be the basis, the middle of this reading, the basis of the reading, which is perfect. Okay? These cards, this one in reverse is, is, is almost similar to you. Because it's, it's about patience. It's about relief. It's about blending. It's about compromise. It's about re restoring the balance. It's about um, keeping it together. You're evolving at this time. That's what's happening. But in order to uh, evolve... You know, you probably have to let something go, okay? To evolve effectively or be go wherever you want to go, you're going to have to blend as well all the negative aspects with the positive aspects. Don't hold on to the anger and let that control your life. That's what I'm trying to say. You know, it's time to it's like balance. This is balance. This is balance. Balance is needed. And I see that you're trying to find the balance. There's been a lot of ups and downs, but you need to continue to be flexible. There may, may have been, you know, a lot of losses financially that have held you back. Don't let that make you angry. Don't let that, everything happens for a reason. If, so, if you lose something or you go through trouble or hardship, it's, you're becoming stronger. So with every downfall, there is some sort of reward. Truly, there is. You just have to look at it like that. Oh, goodness. It's about bringing peace and harmony back to your life by releasing anger and not holding on to something that doesn't serve you, okay? You need to you need to treat yourself with compassion. Okay? That's what you need to do and you also need to follow your intuition at this time. Your intuition is leading the way. Trust it. Trust it. You know, you do have a major new beginning right in front of you. I told you that you guys were going through a spiritual journey. You're starting a new spiritual journey. And as you embark on your spiritual journey or you evolve or you ascend, sometimes, you know, they have to purge. Okay? And that's what this is. This is purging. Okay? And purging is hurts. You have to feel it. So I think that's what's going on. You guys are going through some purging. Purging of anger. Purging of of uh, chaotic events, control, you know, you've been controlled, you're purging negative energies, and that hurts, it's, it's, it does, it affects you, you're going through a transformation that is leading you down this new path, like cleansed, okay, <clears throat> and to get cleansed, you're going to feel it, okay, so what you're feeling is normal during this ascension Evolvement or transformation process. What you're feeling is it has a reason. Okay, there's a purpose for it. All right, this page of swords reversed is it's difficult. It is difficult. I feel like you may run into some unexpected conflicts during this time. Don't be afraid to set up boundaries for yourself or for others as you are changing. You're changing very quickly. It's like you're becoming a new person. It is. You're becoming a new person. All right? So, you know, you may need time to just step back, be alone, and feel all these changes. All right? Whatever's happening is forcing you to take the next step towards transformation, even if it's scary, even if you might not, even if it, you may have some conflicts about it, it's going to bring you relief in the long run, okay? Let me just get this zoomed in. Sagittarius is going through a transformation right now that may you know, hurt. You know, there's there could be, something needs to end, okay? We have the Ten of Swords right next to the Death card. Something needs to be let go of. Something needs to end. 
It's over. It's done with. Holding on to it doesn't serve you. It could be a partnership. Any kind of partnership needs to end. Okay? You need to walk away from it. You do. You need to let it end because it's, it's no longer part of your future. It's no longer part of your new journey. Be careful. You have, to, you have to really, you will live with the consequences of your choice if you continue to hold on to something that is an obsession, that is too heavy, that is not needed. If you continue, if you don't purge it, if you don't let it go, you will live with those consequences. The Seven of Cups is a card of consequences and choices and decisions. You will live with the consequences of your choices and decisions. You are being offered an opportunity, okay? There's two choices here. To start a new journey... Bringing very little of that past baggage with you, like hardly any, okay? Hardly any. She's not bringing nothing with her. She's going, she ain't taking nothing, okay? She's going on her journey with nothing. And this is right here, okay? Your choice is, do you go on this new journey with very, very little? Do you purge, let go, and start the new journey with nothing? Or do you hold on to something, okay? Here's the decision. This is your choice. Do you hold on to something that doesn't serve you? It's up to you. The choice is up to you. You will live with the consequences. And there's good consequences and bad consequences. You stay stuck, unhappy, or you move forward and start fresh. What's it going to be? You're being given an opportunity right now to end something and to start anew. The choice is yours. Do you go or do you stay? If you stay, you could miss an opportunity. For something that you would absolutely positively love. Here's the Ace of Cups. You could be throwing away an opportunity that you would love if you make the wrong decision. I feel like this is a week of decisions, choices. To bring balance and harmony back to your life. You've evolved, you're still evolving, you're transforming, you're not the same person. When you evolve and you transform, something dies, something ends. It's, that's the truth here. With the death card and the ten of swords, something needs to go. And if you resist it, then you're going to continue to have lack of focus, lack of concentration, have chaos in your life, tension, conflict. You're being an, uh, offered an opportunity right now to let something go so that you can have relief. The choice is yours. Believe. The force that works through your soul. Determining what's possible or impossible. The difference between success over failure. This is the perfect card. And above all, who you are is the power of your belief. Believe. The difference between success over failure. Believe in yourself and you will prosper. Anger does not let you prosper. <whistles> Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. You know it, and I know it. So this is what I have for this week. Talk to you later. Remember, I have Insta go, iPhone, and you know how to get a reading is below.